guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Noel and today's video was highly requested you know there's this joy I get when people request for videos thank you so much and God bless you so if you're new here this is the green parenting channel where we talk about anything parenting how to raise successful kids positive kids and still go about doing your daily activity as a parent so please don't fail to click on that red subscribe button on your screen on the post notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber you have been with me through thick and thin thank you so much I am very grateful thank you and I love you yes so without any further ado let's go straight to today's video so Jennifer Uzamaka says, please, I'd like you to talk about giving children real food to school. Mm. Because I found out that most parents of our generation only give their kids only noodles or spaghetti and snacks week to week to school. Before I proceed, I'd like to tell you um, a story. I won't really say it's a story. It's a real life experience. I experienced it when I was in school way back um, you know when I was in school I lived in the hostel so during every semester I would come back with our food stores and stuff like that so there's this particular lady um, she was my elder in school you know once you're in your final year you are being referred to as an elder so we normally call her elder then I think I was in my I was in my third year so this particular elder in my room Anytime she's coming back from school, she comes back with cartons of noodles, different, um, we like to call it different varieties, different uh, species, you know. So she comes back with different flavors, okay. So I noticed that she wasn't really the type that loves to cook. In fact, she just came back, she normally comes back with just one pot, one spoon, one plate, then cartons of noodles. While others are packing their food stuffs, their gari, their rice, their beans. Elda is busy stocking her varieties of noodles. So one day, I decided to ask her because I noticed that was just the only thing she normally eats morning, afternoon, and night. I decided to go to her corner to ask her because I wanted to know why she's always on noodles. So I know what she said to me. She said, it's not as if I don't like eating other food, but that's that eating noodles was just how I was raised. I was raised by parents or parents who never had time to cook. My mother is a career woman, my father a career woman, so the easiest and the quickest thing we could always eat when we come back from school was just this noodles. So that she feels that noodles is already part and parcel of her. And that when she gets married, that that's the way she will always have her that if her husband is not ready to eat noodles then he should be ready to cook for himself now there's a very clear difference between snacks junks fast food and main food in quotes real food when we're talking about main food main food takes longer time to prepare why snacks or junk food takes lesser time to prepare Two, main foods are quite expensive. Fast foods are cheaper, very, very cheap. Then three, main foods are usually heavy, while fast foods are very, very light. So, and that is why fast foods are best eaten in between meals. It shouldn't serve as your main meal for your child. Number four, main food contains literally all the ingredients while fast food contains little or no ingredients at all. So now I'm going straight to tell us the benefits because you need to know the benefits of what you're doing as a parent. It helps the child achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Weights are in different classes. There are some kids you see they will look slim but when you carry them you find out they have weight why there are some you see they'll look chubby when you carry them they they, they they weigh very very light so when your kids fit on main diet it helps and supports their brain development improves their mental health makes them think clearly 
and always be at an alert. Three, it also boosts their immune system, preventing them from contacting um, chronic diseases, even not even just chronic diseases, even all this um, seasonal diseases that maybe when it's raining period, all children are in the hospital having flu, kata and stuff like that. When your children are always eating nutritional food, you find out that they hardly get sick, they hardly go to the hospital. Number four, when your kids eat main food, it supports their muscles, strengthens their teeth and their bones as well. And number five, it also helps their digestive system to function very, very well. Finally, as children grow and develop, they need important nutrients in their food to help them stay strong and healthy. Also, when children observe and experience a good eating habit, they are more likely to stick to it. The initial example I gave concerning my roommate was a perfect, you know, it was just a perfect example. She has grown with noodles and she's, she's also planning to extend that eating pattern, that unhealthy eating pattern in her marriage. I think by now she should be married and I don't know how she's actually going about it. So guys, everything now is now very, very easy because if you are a woman and you feel that you don't like cooking, because I know that there are some ladies or some women that don't like cooking. They prefer to do other house chores like washing, cleaning. But when you talk about anything cooking, they just get angry or they'll be like, no, just count me out. Yes, if you're that kind of parent that you don't have that energy, you don't like cooking, you can order food outside and store them in your freezer or employ someone that will come to the house and cook for your children and store them in the freezer just to make sure that those children are well fed even you as the parent that you're well fed so it is very very important to begin practicing good healthy eating habits in the life of your child at a very early stage when you do that you find out that your children will grow not just physically they'll grow even mentally and you know everything about them will just look perfect and smooth if there is anything you want me to talk about in my parenting channel please in the comment section just tell me that is why i am here so if i had to give this video a thumbs up please do that right now and see you in my next video i love you stay safe everybody bye bye